Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Ladina Strand. I'm a local real estate agent here in beautiful Port Arthur, Washington. And if this is your first time to this channel and you wanna know everything about Kitsap County, well, I do tons and tons of videos, everything you need to know. So you wanna make sure you tap that subscribe button and do not forget to click the little bell so you're notified every time I do a new video. I get lots and lots of phone calls, emails, texts every single day of people looking to relocate here and I absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about moving or relocating, you gotta make sure you reach out to me, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, you can even send me the Seahawk however you want to get a hold of me I definitely have your back when moving to Kitsap County Washington so I get on here every single week to give you the most up-to-date current information on what's happening here in our local real estate market in Kitsap County before I do that though I want to kind of talk about a couple of national statistics because it definitely uh, you know mirrors and reflects what's happening here on a local level so this week interest rates ticked up a little bit to 2.99 um, percent on an average 30-year fixed loan so so the rates, you know, are still obviously very competitive. I mean, 2.99% um, is definitely not too shabby. Now, they're also showing that purchases are now up 27% annually. And again, I think that has a lot to do with the super low interest rates. Um, and it's also the third straight month year over year increase as far as purchases. And Redfin is quoting that the median sale for luxury homes in the U.S. rose 1.2% year over year to $825,000. So that's um, what's kind of going on a more national level. Now let's talk about what's happening here on a local level. And again, the um, stats I'm gonna give you are gonna be for single family detached homes. This is not going to include you know, vacant land, condos, or rentals. And as I always share in my Monday Market Update videos, if there is a uh, town, area, community, or city um, you know, that you're interested in that I don't cover, just comment down below the video. I'd be more than happy to connect with you and give you that additional information. So as you can see, I do have a map of Kitsap County pulled up here. And again, Kitsap County covers from the very, very tip top of beautiful Hansville in the north, all the way down to Port Orchard and Alala in the south and everything else in between. And the approximate population of um, Kitsap County is sitting at about 271,000 people. So it's a pretty good sized county, um, pretty good sized population. So countywide this week, we have 367 homes for sale. And that is for all of Kitsap County and all price ranges. So again, it's still a very, very um, hot seller's market. Again, um, we're sitting at only 1.3 months worth of inventory or what we call the absorption rate. You know, I have a lot of people, um, you know, say that they wanna wait until it tanks, then they'll get in into the market. Now, don't take my word for it, but we're pretty much getting offers on just about um, everything. And we've had a, a total of 383 homes that have sold in Kitsap County in the last 30 days. So I wanna kind of show you a market trend here. This is kind of interesting. And so I went back five years, um, actually a little over five years. So from January 2015 in Kitsap County, the median house price back then was $243,000. July of 2020 for this year, we're sitting at a median house price now of $399,286, which is a 10.9% year over year increase. So you can see the trajectory here. I mean, it's just solidly con continued to climb the last five years. So, hey, if you're really enjoying these videos and they're helping you with your move out here, can you please smash that like button? It really helps my videos out. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. And so, you know, again, you can see the market trend. Um, and I think especially with everything that's gonna, you know, going on in our economy over here with Amazon coming over here, um, I, again, I do not see this slowing down in the near foreseeable future. So let's go ahead and talk about the different areas in Kitsap County. Um, starting with Port Orchard. And so in Port Orchard this week, we have a total of 117 homes for sale. We had 114 the week prior. And the median house price is sitting at $378,000 for Port Orchard. Moving a little farther north um, into the Bremerton area, which is becoming a very, um, very up and coming, very popular area, still very affordable. Uh, Amazon is opening up their uh, warehouse here over by the Bremerton Airport um, scheduled October of this year. Bremerton also got their fast ferry system in. So in a very short uh, ferry ride, you can be in downtown Seattle. 
And so this week, Bremerton has a total of 78 homes for sale. We had 81 the week before, and the median house price for Bremerton is sitting at $349,000. So again, Bremerton is still um, a very affordable area. Moving farther north into Silverdale, which is what we consider the central Kitsap County area, and Silverdale has been a very, very hot market. We had 16 homes on the market last week. We have 16 homes this week. Um, great schools, great community, and the median house price for Silverdale is sitting at $440,000. Moving up farther north into the Paulsbo area, and we consider this whole area, Bainbridge Island and Paulsbo in north, uh, we consider that the North Kitsap County area. Um, and Paulsbo has 34 homes on the market this week. We have 36 the previous week. And the median house price for Paulsbo right now is sitting at $475,000. So as far as, as affordability goes, again, uh, Bremerton and Port Orchard somewhere south are gonna be um, you know, your better options. And again, as I shared with you, Going back to the market trajectory here of the last five years, you know, again, the prices just continue to rise. And again, with Amazon moving over here, I have a feeling that a lot of the other, you know, big companies uh, may follow their lead. So if the moral of the story is if you want to buy in Kitsap County, now would definitely be the time to do that. And as competitive as the market is, it's paramount, if you're a buyer, it's paramount that you're working with an agent that knows the market, that knows the contracts inside and out, that knows how to draft a very competitive offer for you so that you can compete in this market, so you can get into the home and the area that you desire. Um, also, I highly recommend that you work with a local lender for the same reasons. They know the market, they know the contracts, they know the best loan program that's going to work for you. I work with some fantastic loan officers. Um, so if you need one, I would be more than happy to recommend. And if you're a seller and you're sitting on the fence, <laughs> um, you know, now is a great time to sell with, you know, supply and demand with inventory being so low. Um, it's a great time to sell. Again, you want to make sure you're working with a local real estate broker that, again, knows the market, knows how to market your home properly, and that can sell it, you know, quickly and for top dollar. Now, if you want more information on your home's value or what's happening in your specific community, just go ahead and reach out to me. You know, you can give me a call, shoot me a text, however you want to get a hold of me, and I'd be more than happy to connect with you, walk you through the process, and you know, give you the additional information that's going to be specific to you and your needs. And um, as always, I hope you like this video. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share this video with a friend if you want to know anything and everything that Western Washington has to offer. You guys, thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you guys next week.